Hey guys, Catlin here with your homework help for today, Lesson 10, Algebra 1. And we're looking at Diego's club, which earns money for charity when members of a club perform community service after school. Uh, for each student who does community service, service, the club earns five bucks, and there are 12 students in the club. The total dollar amount earned, E, is a function of the number of students who perform community service in. So anytime that you see something is a function of, is a function of, whatever follows that is your input. All right, so we know that our input is the number of members who perform community service. The input is in. Also, domain is going to be talking about in because input and domain go together. And E is the function that represents the dollar amount. So E of N is representing the dollar amount, the output. So we could say that E of N is the output, and it would be representing the range like we talked about today in class. So range is all the list of the possible outputs, and the domain is the list of all of the possible inputs. And that's what they're going to be asking about us about here. Is 5 a possible input value? So could we have five members of the club perform cute community service? Of course, yes. There's 12 people in the group. So yes, uh, five is, oops, is between zero and 12. Perfectly, perfectly fine. And it's whole, which, you know, our, our input's got to be a whole number because it's people doing community service. We're not going to do a half person doing community service. Uh, is 24 a possible output value? Well, uh, this is going to be a no, and the reason why it can't be an output value is because all the val output values are going to come in multiples of five, right? Uh, they're going to get $5 per student. So we could have up to $60 if everybody did it, 5 times 12 is 60. Uh, then we could have nobody do it and get zero. So it would be between zero and uh, 60 in multiples of five. So 24 is a, not a possible uh, output value because... 24 is not a multiple of 5. And then we can go into the description. So let's describe the domain. The domain has to be whole numbers, okay, which include 0. All right, so whole numbers from 0 to 12 because there's 12 members that are in the group. We could also say something like this. N has to be less than or equal to 12, or greater than or equal to 0. It would be another way to talk about it going from 0 to 12. Uh, the range, the range, which we will call E of N, E of N, which is our output, has to go from uh, being less or equal to $60 and greater than or equal to 0. It has to fit in that range for us. We're going to get 0 to 60 bucks and be a multiple of five because we're getting five dollars per student that does this and we could get the max of 12 everybody in the club doing it to get 60 bucks or nobody at all does it and we get no money so it's going to be somewhere in between there as the output and by multiples of five and that is domain and range in a nutshell for those of you that are missing for quarantine i hope this is enough to kind of keep you guys caught up before the break i hope to see you back soon later